Come on. Get them shackles off him. Poor sod can't eat proper. Dunno. I'm not sure I like that. What if he runs for it? He's worth a heap of coin. Ah, bollocks. Been all in him a week, hasn't tried a thing. Why are you up and bolt now? Matter of fact, got to thinking. What did a sweet, gentle chap like him do to get the Queen of Zericania so riled? She's a shrew, that's a Queen and witch in one. <laughs> Worst of both worlds. Look about her. What do you say to one more of your tales? While well, we toss down some cards. Ah, why not? And since you mentioned one queen... The year 1267. War hung in the air, its scent palpable. The mighty empire of Nilfgaard stood poised, greedily eyeing the northern realms just across the Yaluga. In light of the threat, the realm sovereigns met in summit. They made declarations, pledged fraternal assistance, forged alliances, and then, in good spirits, dispersed. Among them, Meave, Queen of the twin realms Lyria and Rivia. Know the name? Hmm? Heard her beauty extolled? <laughs> Justly so. Remarkable she was. Not for her graceful exterior, but for her persistence and courage. Where was I? Ah. As the Queen and her retinue neared her capital, Count Caldwell appeared. In Meave's absence, the Count was to have helped her son, the youthful Prince Willem run the Twin Kingdoms. Caldwell had clearly ridden hard. Drops of perspiration dangled from his whiskers, his neck red and chafed from a rough, starched stiff. Hail, Your Majesty. Delighted to see you in good health. The summit, it ended fruitfully, I hope? Yes, at its end, letters were exchanged, documents signed, paper. Time will tell of what value. That will suffice as cordialities go, Caldwell. Tell me what's happened, for I sincerely doubt sheer longing prompted you to ride out. Indeed, Your Grace. Another circumstance inspired me to do so. <clears throat> the strays of Sparla, the bandits, I was attend to during Your Grace's absence. The situation's gotten out of hand, I fear. Steady, Caldwell. Come now. Deep breath. All right. Speak. What has happened? Be precise. As your grace ordained. I set out and was nipping at the bandits' tails for long. We pursued for weeks, until scouts returned, having sighted the strays' camp in the forest near Lockeran. We waited for nightfall, to surprise them as they slept. Uh, alas, it... Proved a ruse. We found the tents empty. Straw stuffed dummies round the fire. Soon, we learned that as we waited for the sunset, the strays had snuck away, rounded our positions and ridden to Hawksburn. I beg your pardon, my lord. The tax collectors. That is where they station. So the gold? All of it? Uh, stolen. 
your grace, but I shall do all in my power to recover it. This I vow, if it be your grace's wish. After weeks in the saddle, your grace's wishes are modest. A hot bath and a night's sleep in her own bed. Yet, they shall have to wait. I must look personally to this matter. Your force, Caldwell, I will now command. You, send a herald to Hawksburn. They must prepare for the Queen's arrival. Air the rooms, dust off the porcelain. Make certain they do it. Do you see now, Reynard? I believe I foretold it would be thus. My son wasn't ready in the least to rule an entire country. I confess, Prince Willem has much to learn yet. Hmm, yes. And very little time. I thought it were bandits riding in. stretched her over a fire till she told him where she buried her gold rather die than tell him she would but I know where she kept it sit tight sketch it out for you
Count Caldwell rode at the column's head, scanning its flanks with a wary eye that, despite his advanced age, proved very sharp in the Your Majesty! Bandits! There! At the tree line! The Count's footmen, unaccustomed to escorting their queen, sought to shield her with their bodies and assumed a tight formation to do so. They were promptly knocked aside as Meade charged headlong at the bandits, brandishing her blade and bellowing a ferocious cry. Attack! Charge! Bigger they are, easier they are to target. To attack the Queen? An outrage! Your Grace, the men await. You must lead to begin the attack. Abolish to your command.
this artist. Salt of the earth, they are, Your Grace. They follow you into fire. You need simply say the word. I shall teach you to respect the crown, you dogs! Look out! Seek cover! We are bombarded! Assured! Sound the horns! May they sing praises of this triumph for ages! Better to conserve our strength. Prepare for a strike that will prove decisive. Battle formation! Protect the Queen! I'm a monster. A reap, a time to sow, and a time to die. Cover up a storm, knock out one of your teeth. I congratulate you on your latest victory, Your Grace. The bandits stood not a chance. Matters seem indeed to have gotten out of hand. 
To put it mildly. Meave said, arms crossed atop her shining breastplate. They've grown bold. Doubtless after the raid on the manor, the tax collectors... I've not heard of an ambush on the high road before. Caldwell explained, avoiding his liege's wrathful gaze. Enough, Caldwell. We must put things right. Come! The Queen's retinue set out, cavalry in front, infantry and arbalists close behind, and, following in the rear, the bandits, bound in chains.